if you just started your YouTube channel and you're looking for a best video editing software and this is video for you guys. Hi, I'm Rana and I'm VFX and motion graphics artist and video editor. Being a video editor, it's really need to know a requires tool to edit videos. And that's bring me to Filmora Wondershare video editor. Filmora Wondershare has all the required tools to edit videos. Although Filmora Wondershare user interface is self-explanatory, but I really wanted to show you guys its user interface so you can feel more comfortable using it. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Let me show you how this software works. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe or you can turn on notification by clicking this notification bell icon and you won't miss my new uploads. And also you can leave a like if you've been enjoying these videos. Before we begin, I want you to let you know, I leave a link in the description of this video. You can go ahead, open up that link. Once you open that link, that will take you to this page where you can download this application for free or you can buy a license for lifetime or one year or you can purchase a multiple license for multiple computers. Okay, once you download and install, let's open up this application from your desktop icon. Let's open up. So this is the startup window. You can choose your aspect ratio 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. 4 by 3 is gonna square resolution. So I would like to go with 16 by 9 and these are the moods. So in this case, we're gonna choose full feature mood. Let's open up. So this is a Filmora Wondershare video editor looks like. You can choose its skin by clicking this button. You can choose lighter skin or you can choose the darker skin. I like darker. Let's start by showing you its user interface. In this window, you can import your media files. Filmora Wondershare supports a variety of media formats like PNG, JPEG, MP4, AVI, FLB and many more. The good news is you can even edit your 4K video file in this software right away. In the left hand side, you see some folders. You can create a new folder by clicking this button. You can rename your folder name or you can leave it as it is. Filmora Wondershare provides us free video samples and some color mates that you can use in your video editing. On the right hand side, we see a preview window where you can preview your video files. In just bottom, you see some tabs. We will look at these tabs in just a minute. But before, let's have a look at this area. This is a timeline where you edit your videos, audio or even text. And there are a few buttons that you can use them while you edit your videos. And you see some more buttons right here. Now let's have a look at Filmora Wondershare timeline, which is I think pretty easy to understand. By spending your 4-5 to five minutes, you would have firm knowledge of this timeline. Once you understand this timeline, you would feel more comfortable while editing. Let's import a few media into our import window. You can import media by several ways. You can click here, you can import media, or you can go to file, import, and we have few more ways to import media. You can import a specific media file, you can import a media folder, or you can import media from your camera or your phone. Let's import a media file. So as you can see, now we have audio file and video files as well into our import window. You can add a media into your timeline with several ways. First, click in this plus icon, you can add a media into your timeline. Another way, you can simply drag and drop like that or you can select multiple clip in this window and then press the plus icon, you can add all the types of media into your timeline. Let me undo a few steps. Control Z. The way I like to add media into timeline is drag and drop, which is pretty easy, right? Let's say if you want to add more video files into your timeline, then what you can do? Let's say if you want to add another video file into your timeline, you want to add a video file in the end of your clip, then select your clip, move your time indicator at the very end of your clip, and then press this plus icon. As you can see, you just added a clip in the end of this clip. If you want to add video clip in the beginning of this clip, then simply drag your time indicator in the beginning of this clip, and then press this plus icon. You can add a clip in the beginning of your timeline. You can move your time indicator by selecting the specific clip like that. As you can see, when I click the specific clip, Time indicator jumps directly beginning of this clip. Now let's move on trim. If you want to remove a specific area of your clip, then move your time indicator where you want to make a cut. Select your clip, then click in this split button or control B. 
as you can see you would have a cut here if you want to make another cut move your time indicator and make another cut like that if you want to move this area of your clip then select the clip and press delete if you want to delete this one then select the clip and press delete by grabbing the edge of the clip you can trim it or you can extend it back now have a look at this button which is added now select your clip now click this edit button here you can change your rotation of your clip you can flip horizontally you can flip vertically you can add a contrast saturation brightness even tint the more i want to share provide us a free preset that gives your clip a different look changing this slider left or right you can affect your video clip speed moving the slider to right side you can speed it up moving the slider to left hand side you can slow it down you can get the same button by double clicking on any of your video clip if you go to advanced you would have more options to tweak you can play around with these actions by yourself once you're done your editing then click ok you can add a music into your timeline like that you can increase or decrease the volume of your audio by double clicking on the audio here you can increase or decrease the speed of your audio you can increase or decrease the volume you can fade in and out if you want to you can change a pitch of your audio in the equalizer you have few preset to choose let's say this clip is a your voiceover and you catch some background noise then by checking this box you can remove your background noise once you're done your editing here then click ok by clicking this plus and minus icon you can zoom in and out if i hover over my mouse here you can see a shortcut by scrubbing the slider you can zoom in and out quickly another way zoom in and out if you move your mouse wheel here and you can see the mouse cursor has changed and then click and hold you can move your mouse left and right you can zoom in and out into your timeline as well so this is a quick overview how this Wondershare timelines work for more of Wondershare has a green screen feature that you probably seen in more expensive software like after effects premiere pro but in filmora wondershare you can achieve the same effect but with easy way let me show how this work let's drag and drop this clip here and this is a green screen clip if i double click you can preview this clip in this preview window as you can see let's drag and drop this clip in this timeline like that to remove this green screen part you have to select your clip and then click this green screen button and check this box and you can see now we just instantly remove a green screen from the clip. Let's scroll down this shadow button. You can apply shadow. You can change the distance. You can add a blur if you want to. You can change the transparency of the shadow like that. You can add more blur. You can add border if you like. I'm gonna uncheck this. You can rotate. You can flip horizontally or vertically if you want to. Once you're happy, you can click OK. Now let me show you a pan and zoom feature. This feature can be useful when you want to show a specific location of your video clip to your viewers. Let me show you how this works. Now drag and drop your video clip into this timeline. Now select your clip. Now click this crop and zoom. Now select pan and zoom and we have two windows. In the left hand side you can see the two box. In the back we have start point. In the middle we have end point. In the start point we want a full screen resolution. In the end we want a zoom at specific location so how are we gonna zoom this well select your end point and grab the edge of this frame and scale it down by scaling it down you can zoom in or scaling this up you can zoom out let's zoom in at this position you can play you can preview this on the right screen by clicking this box you can swipe and then start point now play this back once you're happy, click OK. Keep in mind that if you change the speed of your clip, pan and zoom will follow that speed. Now let's have a look on these tabs. First we have media that I showed you earlier. Next we have music. In the music tab, you have a bunch of music to choose. If you see a button like this, that means you need to download that file. You can choose your desirable music. Next we have text. Filmora Wondershare offers us a variety of motion graphics text titles and lower thirds and subtitles you can use these titles for your videos next we have transition these transitions allow us to jump one clip to another clip with animation way let me show you what i mean let me drag another clip right there and right there let's go to transition let's choose the transition 
let's choose this one you can drag and drop as you can see half of transition in the left hand side and half of the transition in the right hand side we move one clip to another clip with this type of animation if you don't like this transition select it and press delete button off your keyboard next we have filters these filters and overlays can give a different look to your video clip and next we have elements for more of Wondershare has offered us a huge library of elements these are motion graphics element you've probably seen these type of elements in advanced motion graphics uh, software like After Effects and Cinema 4D. You just have to drag and drop these effects and you're ready to go. Another cool feature we have a split screen. You can select your desirable frame. Let's select this one. Click this plus icon. As you can see, instantly we added a, a video clip into our timeline. And we also open a new window here. And here we have to drag and drop two clips. Once you've done that, and if we play this, as you can see, two clips simultaneously with the same video. And the last and at least, we have this export button. Once you've done your editing, here you can save your video file in your computer system. You can give a name to your clip, or you can save at a specific location, or you can export for your format type, or you can export for your smartphone type, or you can upload directly to your social network, like YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, or you can burn a DVD if you like. Once you've done that, click export and your video will be exported in just a minute. And that's it. That's it guys, that's the end of this video guys. If you found this video useful, you can leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to press the bell icon. Whenever I post a new video, you will get notified. So that being said, goodbye and see you again.